I'm Libra. Welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Listen, listen, listen. I already have some energy out here and it's real. It's real. It's getting real out here. Energies and roles can be reversal and this could be past energy, present or future, but I'm definitely feeling like there's someone in your energy, you guys. I feel like I'm talking to, and I could be talking to a masculine or a male or a female, but there's a divine feminine energy out here because the Empress card came out, okay? So this is you looking great. You're in really good energy. You're in energy of abundance. You're in energy of creation. You are standing fully in who you are. You know who you are. You know what you deserve. You, some of you guys could be pregnant or you could just be birthing some new things in your life here. And the reason why I say that is because I feel like you guys are starting a new cycle in love and in life in general. There are a lot of a new beginnings coming your way. You have an ending in your past, the world card, right? And then... <laughs> The, the wheel is out here too. So you just com completed a karmic cycle and you're moving on. You're moving forward with your life. And moving forward with your life after that world, guess what comes next? The fool. Literally, this is the end and this is the beginning. So I'm talking to somebody here who had a recent ending in their life. And you know, the ending could have been, you know, we are talking about love. So you could have had a breakup, but I feel like now you are ready for new beginnings. You're ready for a new love, right? And you're looking for a new love. And the reason why I say you're looking for a new love is because the Knight of Cups and the Empress and the Page of Swords is here. Some of y'all are looking for new love online, okay? Or you. this could just be the energy that you're in here now. On another hand, if this isn't you in this Page of Swords energy, Page of Swords Aquarius energy here, you could have Aquarius in the background watching you, you know, being obsessive or stalking you or, or definitely like there's somebody new in your energy kind of curious about you, I feel like. Um, but for some of you, there's definitely somebody from the past. This person from the past could be a Cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, but I feel like this is somebody else that you used to be with because they're in this energy. <laughs> While you're like, you know, doing your own thing, wanting something new here, this person is in this Five of Swords energy. For some of y'all, this person could have played emotional manipulation, games held back from you, whatever it is that they did. You, Some of y'all could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is how this person is feeling right now. They they are really stressed and heartbroken. And I feel and they because whatever happened between the two of y'all right after this three of swords, you could be dealing with a Libra um or cancer here with this page of cups. This person wants to apologize. The person from the past wants to apologize for playing mind games with you. There was definitely an ending. Right. So because this Ten of Swords energy is coming out on this King of Pentacles side. Right. Or this King of Cups, because I don't feel like this King of Pentacles and this King of Cups is two different people. I just feel like this is totally two different. Like this, the way their kind of energy is showing up. Um, now, maybe there's a chance that you have a King of Cups energy. These are two different people. You've got one person over here playing mind games with you. And then you've got another person who's more stable that you also know from the past that is heartbroken. Like that you had this ending with that this person wants to apologize to you and come back and talk to you. There was definitely an ending. And somebody's in deep, deep regret. Either way, regardless if this is one person or two people, somebody's in deep regret. Scorpio energy here with the death card. This person is like, what can I do? The blockage here and the challenge between you and the past person is um what is going what is this? I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't want to hear this. Monica, I still care was just playing, and that is an old song. Anywho, so eight of wands, so maybe your person still cares about you, and they obviously do. Because the five of swords, the five of cups, the three of swords, the death card, and the hermit card is here. This person's definitely thinking about you. They could be a Virgo, okay? Especially with this King of Pentacles being here. But the challenge is communication or action. I feel like somebody's not communicating saying how they feel they're not reaching out to you they haven't expressed to you or taken any action about how they feel this somebody is just sitting here sitting back and waiting two of wands two of pentacles because they don't really know what to do they don't really know what to say 
They don't know what to do. They don't know what to say. All they know is you're guarded, seven of wands, and you're moving on the wheel. That's how they feel, all right? And this seven of wands is falling directly underneath this empress. So I feel like you, the empress, you are like... I'm good. I'm good. I only want something new. You know, I feel like for for a lot of you guys, like you, some of y'all could have been juggled because this Two of Pentacles is falling underneath this Knight of Wands. But guess what? This energy could also be you going on multiple dates, not knowing who to choose from, you know, um, just waiting on new. Some of y'all are waiting on something new if you haven't gone on a date. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's just like a lot of y'all half y'all are like in this energy of I'm going to date and a couple people I'm not going to put all of my eggs in one basket until I meet the person that I really want to you know get to know and then like make it official you know you're not you're not going to just like immediately jump into a relationship with somebody and then a lot of you guys are like no 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 I'm going to wait for my new beginning until I meet the right person and I'll know who that person is I, um yeah the thing is, though, that this person, I'm not really sure what they did to you yet because I don't really see energy, specific energy as to like exactly what they did. I definitely know the time wasn't the right time between the two of you. And that makes total sense with the wheel being here. You know, I do think for a lot of you, this masculine energy from the past had a hard time like opening up to you and being sure about what they wanted to do or they being sure about what they wanted from the relationship itself like this person wasn't sure what they really wanted i mean they knew they wanted you but they didn't know what that looked like they did, did, didn't know what that would look like okay because it says i'm slowly but surely opening up to you as time progresses i think this is this person from the past like trying to decide how they're going to come forward and talk to you and communicate with you like they miss you though they really do because this this energy of their soul aches for you every time they think about you you know this person you're definitely not talking to them because remember the challenge position was the eight of wands aries leo sagittarius energy and in the challenge position Obviously, with action and communication being an issue, this person's energy is like, I remember we used to talk every day and I miss that. They they love you, but this person just doesn't know how to feel. They don't know. And that's, you know, I feel like that's this energy. They don't know how to feel. They don't they don't know what to say or what to do. For some of you, they're waiting on you to communicate to see how you feel but even though they this person may feel like they don't know the three of swords is here this person is crushed the hermit is here this person is doing a lot of ref inner reflection this person the five of swords is here the five of cups is here somebody is sad in deep regret and remorse over what they did or what they didn't do <clears throat> so Show me more here. What's the truth here that this person hasn't shared with the collective? Yeah, see what I'm saying? The, all this unsure energy. This is them in this Two of Pentacles energy. Literally. I don't know what comes next. All this person knows is they want to be with you. All this person knows is they want to talk with you. All they know is when they see you, when they're around you, when they hear your voice, they feel so very happy without you. Again, yeah, I hide my feelings, like I said. I Do you see what I'm saying? I can't do this. Somebody's gone back and forth, back and forth, and I just feel like you, you're just like, I'm done. I'm done, you know. Um, oh, look, I told you, look at this. Look at this energy. I can't reach out. That was the challenge position. The eight of wands. This person not being able to talk to you. So let's see why this person can't reach out to you. Okay. Why can't this person reach out to the collective? Why can't this person reach out to the collective? 
Oh, this you. <clears throat> this person can't reach out to you because you're being protected to them. Prot I, that don't even make sense. That you are being protected from this connection, or they're trying to protect you from something. I don't know what it is for some of y'all. It could just not be the right time, and your spirit guides, the your angels are protecting you from this person. But either way, some of y'all like they, they, you could be. <clears throat> There could be protecting you from somebody who's obsessed with you. Wow. Why can't this person person reach out to the collective? I'm having a hard time getting my words together right now. For some of y'all, you're being blocked from this person because they haven't done the healing work yet. They just haven't done the work. They're not ready. They don't even know what the hell they want. See what I'm saying? The time is not now. They're not ready. It says, wait, the timing is not quite right. So that's why Spirit is saying, just trust. Yeah. Somebody's in denial here. Mm -hmm. Somebody has a lot of passion and sexual chemistry for you. But I feel like that's all they that's all they do know that, that what they want. Like that's all they know what they want. For some of you all, this could be a soulmate. Or you could have a new soulmate coming in that's somebody who's actually ready to be vulnerable with you. Okay. You know. Or this person is not able to talk with you and really truly express their emotions and their feelings or they don't even know how to process it because I feel like a lot of them, I see vulnerability upright and then I see children in reverse like somebody who needs to heal their inner child wounds. Like I was saying earlier, all this person knows how to do is do the plumbing. They don't really know. <laughs> I don't feel like they really know. Show me what else here is going on with the collective. I feel like somebody's got some growing up to do. Parenting and nurturing. Compassion. You see what I'm saying? I feel like for some of y'all, somebody here could... Children could be the actual physical block. But for, I feel like for this person, the issues are... Somebody didn't get... They have some inner childhood wounds that they need tending to. Someone has... You know, like some issues that they need to seek counseling for that stems from their child. Children keeps coming up again. Children came out again. An avoidance. Stalemate. Some of y'all are avoiding this person because they have kids or they had an extra kid that you didn't know about. But I really, really, truly feel like this is somebody's avoiding a childhood trauma this is why they can't get in touch with their feelings and their emotions. This is why this person's in this energy of, I don't know how to feel, you know, two of pentacles energy, not able to make a decision. Ooh, hold on. Some drama's going on here. Your person could be going through some drama right now that you don't know about. Somebody even could have went to jail here, was locked up. Yeah, somebody's obsessive. Somebody's got some obsessive something in their energy. Hmm. I feel like this is you in this dating energy. Remember I said you could be like on a dating app or you could be going on multiple dates here. This literally, this card literally says I'm back into the dating scene and making the effort to move on. Or this could be your person like back on the dating scene trying to replace you, but they can't quite replace you. Find a good replacement because in divine timing, you know what I'm saying? Not the right time. That's what this message just keeps coming up. Um... And I feel like it keeps coming up because this person has some wounds to heal, you know, and some growing to do. Somebody needs to just seek a therapist and admit that there are some things that they need to change. So chasing. Somebody wants to chase you here. Let's see what this chasing energy is about. Let me move on to another deck. Can you show me what this chasing energy is about, please? What's this chasing energy about? For some of y'all, this is somebody trying to maintain control. 
they don't have control over a situation anymore. Or this person's trying to control themselves to keep themselves from chasing you. That's what it is. Somebody's trying to control themselves from chasing you because they want to reunite because we got the unity card. Then we have control and chasing. Yeah. See, that's why this person is so damn shut down. It says, I'm swearing off dating. I have no desire to be with anybody. But then here's the, here comes an offer. Venus, an offer. So show me this offer here. Show me more about this offer. Somebody don't know what the hell they want. Now we have, you're confusing me and giving me mixed signals. This person it gives you mixed signals. They really don't know what the hell do they want. Yeah. Be careful with this person because they do. The, there goes the Ace of Wands energy, new beginning, action, courage, Jupiter. Let's see what else came out. Mm, somebody could be working on getting a divorce. Somebody could be working on getting a divorce here. Or, I don't know, uh, breaking up some form of a, a contract when it comes to something at, with their job or their business or work. Mm. Show me more about this energy. Oh, some, oh yeah, ooh. So some of y'all are dealing with somebody here who is in a love triangle. Mm -mm. Some of y'all, this person didn't talk to you, didn't express how they felt. They could have ghosted you, cut you off, blocked you, or you could have blocked this person when you found out that they were, they had somebody else. They were juggling you. Somebody, yeah, look at this. This closed off, guarded, and resisting energy came out and then outdated. But see, this this closed off, guarded energy came out in reverse, but outdated thinking came out upright. So this is telling me somebody here is changing. Like, they're trying to come out of this closed off, guarded energy of like not being emotionally available or whatever. But, <sighs> child... I don't know. Somebody's wearing a false self mask here. It's their belief system. Facade. Beliefs. Somebody wants to take this mask off. They know they got to do this. But they are not. It just doesn't look like they're ready to do the work. Um, the hermit is here. But I don't really see any other cards that tell me this person is truly doing some shadow work. You know, but I'm going to pull some more cards and see. Y'all give me just one second. Let me move some of these out of the way. So, this person does not know what's coming next. They don't know what to do. There's no communication with this person. Let me pull some no communication cards and see what comes out for you. All right. Could be dealing with a younger water sign. Could be dealing with a Libra, a fixed sign because the wheel is here. That is fixed energy here with the wheel is Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. Definitely Aquarius with the Page of Swords or younger Aquarius. An older Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or more specifically Scorpio for sure with the Death card. And then the Empress, right? Which is Taurus energy. And then we have Aries energy out here. Or Aquarius energy with the fool. All right. What does this person want to say that they can't say right now to the collective? Everything will be all right. Just trust me. So this page, this person wants you to have patience with them and, and just give them a little bit of time is what this feels like here. It says maybe this break is good for us. Maybe this time apart will help us come back together. Yeah, I feel like, you know, this person wants is saying that because they don't really know what to do yet. They haven't figured it out. I'm so lost right now. I am confused. Literally the next card I flipped over. I'm so lost right now, I'm confused. And they are, you will always have a place in my heart. So this definitely seems like 
you know, maybe like right person, wrong time, you know, because they really don't know what they want. I'm really not getting any answers here. I really don't see like a plan or any action. This person just knows the two of you belong together. So they probably are in a, honestly, I don't want to be in a relationship right now. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And look at this. This person knows that they're sabotaging stuff. Why do I keep messing things up? And then what's playing right now is Lonely. Lonely by Tank and Chris Brown. Um, he just, Tank just said, she doesn't do the things that you do for me, but I'm still lonely. Like they're with somebody else. They're steady trying to replace you with a new girl, but in the end, all they need is you. And they're thinking about you. So, you know, yeah, I'm not, I'm sorry. I hope that gave you some clarity. The time is just not right now, apparently. So I love y'all.